Hello and welcome to the Dynita training series. In this video, we will learn about statistical significance testing in cross tabs. This is a very important component of any cross tab. Market site automatically runs a variety of statistical tests based on the column variables, row variables, and options you have specified in your cross tab design. Now, let's open the cross tab editor. You can find the statistics tab in the upper left. When you go to the statistics tab, the first option is to select the confidence level for the cross tab. Market site can run statistical tests at confidence level from 99.9% .9 to 70%. When you enable this checkbox, you will be able to change the confidence level as needed. A confidence level of 95% sets the probability of erroneously observing statistically significant results to 0.05. With a 95% confidence interval, you have a 5% chance of observing significant results where none exist. Note that a higher confidence level is not necessarily better because raising the confidence level reduces the ability of a test to correctly identify significant differences when they actually exist. When show significance pop-up is enabled, Tooltip indicating significant relationship will appear when you hover over the cells in your table. If you would like to show more information about the stat test market site is using, try show test name and key values. The pop-up will now show the name of the test that were run as well as the p value for those tests. When this is enabled, you will see two related options here that determine where the additional details are shown. By default, for significant results is selected, but you may want to change it to for all results, which can be handy in determining whether or not stat tests were run in a particular circumstance. The next two options allows you to change between contrast testing and pairwise testing. Contrast testing compare each cell of a row variable to the group of other cells within the same row. The application automatically selects the appropriate contrast test for you and displays any significant results using yellow shading. If cross tab display options are set to display count or column percent for a row variable, market set will compare each cell's frequency to the aggregate frequency of all other cells in the same row. Pairwise testing is the system default. The application runs the appropriate pairwise test and displays significant results using blue shading. In pairwise testing, we compare each cell to every other individual cell within the same row. In other words, we are testing every possible pair. If cross tab display options are set to display count or frequencies for a row variable, market site will compare each cell frequency to every other cell frequency in the same row. When pairwise testing is selected, the use column letter option will become available. Column letters are used to clearly distinguish statistically significant results of pairwise test. If one or more column letter appears in a cell, it indicates that the cell containing the letter has a value that is significantly different from the cell referenced by the letters. By default, the application will position the lettering in the max cell or the cell with the larger value of the pair. This can be adjusted if needed. Set explicit stat testing pairs can be handy if you don't want to run SIG testing for all the pairs of cell in your table. You can use this option to limit the testing to chosen pair of cells. To do that, just click on edit and you will see a new window pop up. First, you can adjust how columns are displayed in the dialog using the column labeling dropdown. The quick entry box allows you to simply type in the columns you would like to stat test. You can also click on add a stat test pair to select the desired pair. For example, you can select female UK in column 1 and male UK in column 2. You can add more pairs by repeating the same step or by using the load options here. Once done, click OK.
If you have column letters turned on, you can also run stat testing at a second confidence level in the cross channel. When two confidence levels are used, pairwise test with significant results at the lower of the confidence level will be shown in lowercase letters. Pairwise test with significant result at the higher confidence level will be denoted in uppercase letters. Next, we have treat each pair of column as a self-contained independent sample. You can select this option to run pairwise test of means that do exactly that treat each pair of column as a self-contained independent sample. Include total column here will run significance testing against the total. This can only be used if your cross tab has the show totals function enabled on the design tab. You can select this checkbox to correct for the chance of type one error when running multiple statistical tests. A type one error is the likelihood of observing statistically significant results when no significant relationship actually exists. By selecting this option, market site automatically adjusts statistical tests to control the overall type one error rate for a set of related tests. Selecting this checkbox will enforce strict data sufficiency rules for chi-square test on row variables displaying column percent and or counts. When this option is enabled, the application will only run chi-square test if fewer than 20% of cells for a row variable have an expected cell count of less than 5 and no cells for the row variable have an expected cell count of less than 1. The next option calculate row percent only on the innermost nested column variables. In some cases, you might find that your means are not being tested due to the variance being unequal. An easy way to tell if this is happening is to use the significance pop-ups for all results, which we discussed earlier. If this occurs, you can check Enable stack testing for means when variance is unequal to apply SIG testing for means despite the variance being unequal. Now you can see the updated results here. There are several options for the sample base used in statistical calculations if a cross tab is weighted. You can use the weighted, unweighted, or effective base. The application uses adjusted statistical test for multiple response questions. By default, these calculations will always use mention and sample size. The series of settings enables you to adjust what is used in this situation. You can select from mention and sample base or mention and sample base when a sample base calculation is enabled. Finally, grid variable also present unique circumstance for stat testing. By default, the system will consider the values in the grid to be non-mutually exclusive. In other words, respondents could overlap or have answered more than one question. This may not always be the case for all grids. However, so you can adjust the settings to mutually exclusive to account for that. I hope you find this video helpful. Thank you for watching.